Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm going to be presenting my talent unicycling while talking about the bodily maintenance of equilibrium, or balancing. So, the inner ear is called the labyrinth. And the labyrinth is composed of two parts, the cochlea and the vesticular apparatus. In the vesticular apparatus, there are three tube-like structures that run in different planes that are called semicircular canals. The semicircular canals run along the frontal, sagittal, and transverse planes. This allows the body to interpret the information given by uh, motion in different ways and have hairs that are receptors for different types of motion. Um, there are components in the vesticular apparatus called the utricil and the sacrosil, which are full of that fluid sensing hair that is interpreting the information from motion and transmitting it to the neurons. So in all, the way equilibrium works is you have some sort of motion, whether it's forward, backward, side to side, whatever, which results in the fluid motion in the vesticular apparatus and in the canals, which results in the hair receiving that motion, the hair in the uterus and the sacrosyl, and then that hair in turn will trigger a neuron signal, and the neurons relay the motion information to the head, and or the brain, and then the brain will interpret that information, and it will, and it will then respond to it. So when you're walking, it means putting one foot forward in front of the other. When I'm unicycling, I have to learn to interpret that information in a different way. When I'm unicycling, that means that when I lean forward, I have to accelerate the pace that my feet are moving to keep the unicycle under me. And when I'm leaning backwards, it means I have to slow down in order to keep the unicycle from just going ahead of me. So what I'm doing when I learn unicycle is I'm learning to interpret the motion information picked up by the hairs and I'm learning to alter my brain's response to it in a different way by either accelerating the pace my feet move or slowing it down, as well as leaning and waving my hands in silly looking ways. So this process is very effective. However, it doesn't always work. And when it doesn't work, you can result in motion sickness. Motion sickness is caused by the sensory conflict between different neurons in your body or just in your ear. So when you're spinning, the fluid will go in all sorts of directions with the centripetal acceleration. And so it results in information that is very confusing to your brain, which can cause the response commonly known as motion sickness. Um, also when you're spinning, all of your different limbs are going to be moving at, like in different directions. And so the information from your limbs isn't gonna match the information from your spinal cord and information from your head. And so that can result in confusion or motion sickness when you're on a plane, a boat, a roller coaster, or you're just spinning around really fast. And that is about it. In summary, here is composed of a labyrinth, which has two parts. The part that maintains balance is the vesticular apparatus. It contains three semicircular canals with the frontal, transverse, and sagittal planes. There are two components called the utricil and the sacrosyl, which are fluid, full of fluid sensing hairs. The fluid sensing hairs interpret the motion information from the fluid, and they in turn will send a nervous signal to the brain. And then based on what activity you're doing, the brain will interpret that motion information and then respond to it with an action. Whether it's making sure you put your foot in the right place or don't lean and fall over 
or if you're accelerating the pace that you're pedaling versus slowing it down or if you're like having your hands out to float or something like that when you swim and yeah that is unicycling <laughs>